Let's talk about how to set up your email within Forms Boss. We will need to know certain settings for your email address, your email accounts, um, in order to configure your email in Forms Boss. And you can copy those settings from whatever program you use to do email normally. In our case, on this computer, that program is Microsoft Outlook. So I'm going to open up Outlook. Go to Tools, Email Accounts, View or Change Existing Email Accounts, click Next. Select the email account that I want to take a look at, click Change. And here's where we need to note some of this information so that we can transfer it over into our Forms Boss program. You will need to know your entire email address. You will also need to know your outgoing mail server, which is printed here in this box. You'll need to know your username and your password. Your password probably will not show uh, within your email program, so if you don't know your password, you'll need to contact your uh, email provider to find out what that password is. So make note of those things on this page and then click More Settings. Click the Advanced tab. Here we need to know our outgoing server, SMTP, this port number right here. We need to know what that number is and we also need to note whether this box is checked or not. This server requires an encrypted connection, an SSL. Um, in, in our case the, the box is not checked, in your case it might be. So you just need to note whether that box is checked or not. Now that we've noted those uh, specific items within our email account settings in Outlook, we can transfer those to Forms Boss. So we're going to close out of our Outlook program. Come back to Forms Boss. On the Management tab of the main menu, we're going to double click on Agency Setup Form. Click on the Email tab. And here's where we enter all of the information that we noted from the Outlook program. So we have our outgoing server listed here. The port number is here. You'll notice that um, the port number has to be four digits long. Um, and if your port number is just two digits, you'll just need to put um, some underscores in front of it in order to make it be a, a full four digits. Um, if it's only three digits you'll just need one underscore. In our case uh, we needed two. You'll also notice the, the SSL required checkbox is left unchecked here because it was uh, left that way in the Outlook program, but yours might need to be checked, so just uh, make note of that. The authentication type should be set as on. Uh, it will, by default, be on, but if for some reason yours is off, you can toggle that with this little triangle pull down here and just select on. Your username, in some cases, that is your full email address. In other cases, it might just be the portion of your email address that comes before the at symbol. Um, but you would need to put your, your username, your account name in there, and your password, and then your full email address goes down here. You've also got some uh, margin settings um, down here at the bottom for, for your PDF. Um, that's just your, your preference. Um, so now that we have all of our settings transferred into Forms Boss, let me show you how to actually use this to send an email from Forms Boss. We're going to click OK on the Agency Setup form. We're going to come over here to the Customer's Prospects form. You'll notice when you open up the Customer's Prospects form, down here at the bottom there is a tab called Email Log. This is where you will send emails from. In order to start a new email, you would just click this button. 
and it will open up your email dialog box. It will automatically pre-fill the um, email address that you have for this customer. If you wanted to send to a different customer or to a different address, you would just uh, you could either pull down with this box to access one of your recently used email addresses or you could access your actual address book with this button here and that works the same for the two field the carbon copy field or the blind carbon copy field you'll notice a row of buttons across the top of the screen here this first button is obviously your send message button these next three buttons are opportunities to attach different things to this email. So let's take a look at what those do. This first one is an attach file button. If you click the attach file button it will open up an open dialog box so that you can select a file that you would like to attach to this email. And you'll see that it attached that file uh, as a JPEG right there. This next button is to attach documents. It will pull up a list of all of the documents that you have saved for this customer and you can select one or more documents from your list to attach to this email. You'll see that it put that document there in the attachment section of the email. This next uh, button is to attach invoices and it will allow you to select an invoice uh, from this customer's invoice list to attach to this email. You'll see that it added that invoice as a PDF in the attachments list. This is your spell check button. You can just spell check your message. Your signature button here allows you to add in um, whatever signature you want to appear in all of your emails. So you can change that signature to read however you want it to read for all of your emails. You have a print email button here. You can select this uh, checkbox if you want a return receipt. And you can set the priority for your email here with this pull down menu. You can add a subject in the subject line. and you can type in your message Once you've completed everything that you want to complete here, you just click the send message button. And it will give you a confirmation that your message has been sent. You click OK. And then you'll notice that the message that we sent appears here in the email log list uh, within Forms Boss. You might have noticed that there was not a way to attach forms within uh, that email message. That's because you actually do that directly from the Forms tab. So if you come over here to the Forms tab, you'll see that there's a button that says Email Selected Forms. So we can select which forms we want to email. Click this Email Selected Forms. and it will pull up an email screen with those forms already attached. You can fill it out however you need to. You can attach other items uh, however you would like to and then send this email message. And you'll see that that uh, email that we sent with the forms attached is included here in the list on the email log as well. If you want to take a look at any of these emails that are saved here, you can do that just by double clicking on them. And it will allow you to take a look at any emails that you've previously sent. 
So that gives you an idea how to use the email features of Forms Boss Plus.